gnarled, knobbly and what a nose. This is how the not very dainty dino would have looked like. And the USP of this VIP, it's bulbous snout. And here we have vertebra or backbone of... Its remains had spent 40 years in old boxes until Jeremy Lockwood, a retired GP, went through them. He'd always believed there had to be more than two types of dinosaur on the island. And he was right. I took a, a bone, which was a nasal bone, and I thought I'm going to try and reconstruct what the skull of this animal looked like. So I sort of put it into life position. And I thought, goodness me, this has got a bulbous end to the end of its nose. So it became obvious that this was something completely different. It took Dr Lockwood two years to sift through all the bones. And his new species has now been confirmed by experts. Just along there is where I found it all them years ago. That's right. Keith Simmons is the one who found the dinosaur near a village called Bryston, which is why it's been called Brystonius simmonsi. It was in 1978 Keith discovered the bones, and now the new species has been confirmed. He's delighted. It's nice, yeah, it's a bit of recognition for the work done over the years. It's um, old jail. And now you found out you found a new species of dinosaur. What do you make of that? Uh, something for the history books, really. And uh, yeah, it's very good. This coast was already known as a world-class centre for discovering dinosaurs. It seems some have, well, just got a nose for it.